Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and I'm going to review the Zag Invisible Shield for the iPhone 5. I've used some other shields I've showed you on this channel, and thought we would try out the best-selling shield right now. So they've sent me products before, and I've really liked them. They sent this one, so I appreciate that. Thanks for sending it. And this one is a full-body shield. It's their original shield, and they're about $25 plus shipping. They don't come with a whole lot other than the shield and some spray to apply it, but here's the back shield, there's a front shield, and then there's some spray inside with a squeegee. So we'll take a look at this, I'll try it out, see if they're still holding up to the competition, and then take a look at it afterwards and see what it looks like. I've installed the Zag Shield, it's been on there for about a week, and it went on pretty easily. You take your time, squeegee the water or solution out, let it dry, and it turns out really nice. However, one thing Zag is known for is this orange peel effect on their original skin. You can see that in this screen. It kind of looks like the skin of an orange. So you've got this little bumpy feel to it. And you don't really feel it with your fingers, but it looks like it in the screen itself. When you turn the screen on, there isn't any difference as far as responsiveness goes, but you do have that textured look over the top of your screen and it's more noticeable in some angles than others if i turn it over we may be able to see that here as the light passes over the phone you can kind of see how it breaks up and there's that orange peel effect again it does have a lot of fingerprints that it leaves on the skin or you can leave them easily on the skin but zag makes a couple variants that have addressed these problems they make an HD version, which is more glass-like and very clear. Actually, the HD version is more easily applied to the phone. It's not difficult to put on as much as this one is. And then there's also a smudge-proof and an extreme version that's to help it from breaking. Obviously, you're not going to get a lot of drop protection from this skin, but you will get a lot of protection from it as far as scratches. And supposedly, if you do drop it with a skin on, you have a better chance of the screen not cracking as opposed to cracking, according to a couple reports I've seen online. I haven't tested that myself, and I don't plan to, but I can only assume that you won't at least scratch your screen with it. If you're looking for something with a little more protection, they do offer a cutout version that allows a case to fit on it better as well. So you could use any one of these variants, and it will fit in a case with these skins on certain cases, so you would want to try that out first. Not all cases will fit with this skin. Overall, though, I really like any skin that goes on the phone and protects it and shows the original design of the phone as opposed to covering it with a case. That's just my personal preference. Some people may or may not like that. The skins are about $25, $24.99, go up about $5 depending on the version you want, and they ship out pretty quickly and you have them and then you just apply them as long as you take your time they turn out well the most difficult thing is getting dust out from under it in fact i have one speck here that's been driving me nuts i don't know if you can see it at the end of my finger there but it does have a speck underneath it when the screen's on it's not too noticeable as long as it's on a light background you can't see it at all skins are great i think zag makes a great product and overall i definitely recommend them if you have any questions or comments about this particular skin, please place them in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.